Ultimate Hoops. We're here at Warrenville tonight on Wednesday. Crystal Lambert's back in the house. Crystal, how do you think things went tonight? Everything went fairly well. It went fairly well. Only one, one kind of blowout, but not really. Okay. Um, first game we had Boom Squad playing in, uh, against Sky 630. Sky 630 won the first matchup this season, but uh, it turned around a little different. What was the key to that game? Well, first I need to know who Boom Squad is. Who do they have on their team? Javon, Mike, Nick. Um, they did really. They was they were shooting really, really poorly at the beginning. Um, Nick shot 20 shots. He shot 10 threes, and but at the end he started hitting them, connecting on them. So I thought he did really good. Um, Javon had a had a nice dunk to really turn around uh, what was going on. But I think you know sometimes you just don't have enough gas for Doug can't do it all. You know you gotta have some people that come in and help him out. I mean, just because you shoot well from the field and no one else is doing anything, that doesn't guarantee a win. So where was Carlos tonight? Um, Carlos probably was, you know, he wasn't <laughs> He wasn't here. He played, but he wasn't here. Okay. Carlos missed about, I think uh, the stats said he missed 11 shots. One thing about Carlos, he does always miss his first shot, and then he gets his rebound, and then he puts it back. But that was um, non-existence tonight. Okay. Um, I caught up earlier tonight with Javon Griffin. We're going to tune into that interview. Welcome, Ultimate Hoops. I'm here with Javon Griffin of Boom Squad. Javon, big win tonight, yeah. taking down Sky 630 after losing them earlier in the season. How does that feel? Pretty good. You know, Doug was talking that trash, and we had to get him today, so it was a good win for us. Yeah, last time he played him, he went off. What was the key today to cool him down a little bit? I thought uh, Nick did a good job of guarding him. Uh, it made it tough for him. He got frustrated. Then he started trying to drive on like our whole team, so that made it easy for us. What other keys did you see in the game that uh, gave you guys the edge? No one could guard Mike. That was a big thing. He was getting whatever he wanted. He just opened the game up for everybody else. Okay. What does this mean going forward for Boom Squad? Are they now the team to beat? I think I think so. I can kind of say that confidently now. Um, we beat pretty much everybody by more than the points that they beat us. So I, I think you can say that. But I think we're we're just getting in a stride, though. I think we can still do better. Coming into form, as they would say. Um, this point in the season, what what has been the changing point, the turnaround after those that two-game losing streak? Um, I think everybody's just competitive. You're starting to see that competitive side. After those two games that we lost, we felt that we shouldn't have lost because we thought we was better than them. It's kind of like a wake-up call. You know what I'm saying? Uh, one of my teammates mentioned that to me. There it is, Javon Griffin, Boom Squad. Here they come. Back to our analysis. We got the second game we had No One Wants Us. Two-game losing streak facing off against the White Rockets. Delvon Moneyham returning to the house tonight. Um, but they were still lacking something. Um, I think that Lewis didn't get the ball like he should have gotten the ball at the end. The last seven minutes, he didn't shoot. And he's a really, really good shooter. Delvon had a really, really good game. Um, they just couldn't pull it out. But I believe that if, Del if Delvon and Lewis connect and tell the other, the other guys to play defense, play roles, set screens, they'll be more accurate. And they'll also win more games. But nobody wants us. Somebody gonna want them after this, after this season because they were killing. John had 32. Um, he was nine for 11 from the three-point line. Um, or yeah, nine for 11 from the three-point line. And you know, I don't like to throw names out there, but Robert, who was guarding him, wouldn't put his hands up. Who does that on defense? Anyway. So you think it was more so no one wants us playing, stepping their game up now, or White Rock is just not being there? Well, at the beginning, even though no one wants us was playing very well, now they share the ball very well. And since they share the ball very well, everyone's scoring. And they look for each other. They got a new guy, Angelo. He, he comes in and gives them pretty good minutes. And he shoots the ball pretty good. He doesn't connect on every shot, but he connected on enough shots to keep himself in the game. Okay. Um, so that kind of we went through the the top three teams there was Sky Six Three O Boom Squad. No one wants us. They're all, I believe, tied for yeah. going for that number one spot. Is uh, one of them going to pull ahead in this last week here? I believe no one wants us. Is going to do it. If they get a they need a big 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 game out of Chance, because Chance had 15 boards, 
And if he can just have more, if he needs to dunk on somebody. That's what he needs to do. No one's guarding him. He gets the rebound. He lays it up kind of soft. He still gets points, and he played very well tonight. But as soon as he get more aggressive, they're going to pull off. Okay. Um, earlier tonight, caught up with Will Robinson of No One Wants Us, and he kind of detailed tonight's game and what's coming forward for them. So we're going to go there. At Ultimate Hoops, I'm here with Will Robinson of No One Wants Us. Will, uh, you guys coming off a two-game losing streak. Turn it around tonight with a big win over uh, White Rockets with Delvon Moneyham returning to the table. What what does this mean going forward? Uh, it means that we're we're contenders for sure um, in this tournament. Um, you know we are nobody wants us. We're the free agent team, but at the same time, I mean we come with it every single week. So um, yeah, uh, we're in it to win it. So how did you think the game went for you personally tonight? Tonight, I mean, I, I missed some bunnies, you know, but at the at the end of the day, I mean, we still came out with a W. John made up for all of my errors for the most part. I think I got a couple assists in there, dropped it into the big man, so, okay. you know, it was definitely a good night. Um, did you guys say anything before the game that after the two-game losing streak, turn it around, or you just came out there ready? No, we actually started a little bit flat this game, um, but uh, we picked it up second half and just, just ran. I mean, we play like we normally do. What is what? Where do you credit that? Who's the lead, leadership on this team? I mean, when it when it comes to taking shots, it, it's definitely John. Um, but we have some big shots in from uh, Elston, you know. So and I and I just got out there and did what I do, man. Just run. Okay. So. All right. So next week, do you guys know who you play? I have no idea. No. Are you gonna be here? Probably not. Oh. Got a job interview. Oh. So. <laughs> so, well, it's know, up. It's, it's up to your team is. then. Yeah, it's up to my team. But uh, I got faith in the guys. I mean, they all play very well. Uh, we had some big shots tonight from Gerald, so I mean everything was good. So he'll one, one and two seeds, anybody's game at this point. That's right. I'll be back for the championship. So. All right. Oh yeah. Okay, there it is. No one wants us. All right, Crystal. Back to our last game. We had No Size Light playing against uh, Chicago Buckets, and No Size Light was kind of light tonight. Very light. It was missing Jason, and he's a huge lift for them. So Dave had to do a lot, even though Dave scores a lot anyway. He's, he usually received the ball instead of bringing up the ball. AJ, AJ did very well tonight, um, giving assists. I believe he had eight assists, had about ten points. So he did, had a very, very good game. Dave had a good game. Even um, uh, KP, he almost fouled out. And, you know, they only had five people. And, you know, they're an older team, not to say they're bad or anything, but that was a lot of wear and tear. Only when you're older and you're trying to keep up with the young guys. Then you have Xavier for the Chicago Buckets, who has 37 points. Who's guarding him? Right, no one. You didn't answer. <laughs> no one's guarding him, and he did very well. Um, Lafayette did very well tonight as well. And um, with Xavier shooting, three-point shooting, it was, they had no answer for him. I mean, they kept coming back. It was down within three, and then it kept pulling away. They never could gain the lead. Do you think there's a clear-cut winner in this league? Who's going to take it home, or is it kind of still no one knows? Well, I believe no one wants us, or Doug's team is going to be the final. Now, who's going to win is going to be the better the better team, of course. But Doug's going to have to pass and get his um, teammates involved, and he's going to have to stop complaining so much to the refs. Once you do that and focus, he'll have a very, very uh, great game. But no one wants us. They're all shooting very well. Elson was shooting good. Um, John was shooting very well. Jero, you know, come up the rear. He's trying to do some things. And then, like I said, Chance had a really, really good game tonight. I'm just looking for that last push from Chance. Do you think, uh, one last question, do you think um – the White Rockets, with the pending return of Demar Ellerbe, will change their fortune and Joaquin Jara? No. Why not? Well, you can be an asset to the team, but if it's not an asset to win, it doesn't it doesn't matter. He's really good offensively. He doesn't really play that much D, so he's he's going to boost up points. But then, if you're not playing um, on the defensive end, then what are you doing? So I don't think it's going to be a even his impact with his size in the middle. No, it's a lot of size that's going on. Heck, Chance is tall. What does that tell you? He do well, but he needs to get that fierce, I need to dunk on you. You have Delvon coming in, scoring on you time after time. And not that Delvon's not a bad player, but he's undersized. So you just, just because size doesn't mean anything, especially if you have players who's finishing around the basket.
Well, there it is. We got No One Wants Us and Sky 630 as the favorites for Crystal in the championship. So we'll see how Week 8 plays out and there, see where it goes from there.